Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Air Around Us. Question number 1. Long chimneys in factories is to Option A. Make it beautiful. Option B. Increase the efficacy of factory. Option C. Release harmful smoke high in the atmosphere. Option D. Reduce the cost of production. The correct answer is Option C. Release harmful smoke high in the atmosphere. The burning of fuel produces smoke. Smoke contains a few gases and fine dust particles and is often harmful. That is why we have long chimneys in factories. This takes the harmful smoke and gases away from breathing level of living organism and releases it high in the atmosphere. Question number 2. Statement I. Breathing through mouth is not recommended. Statement 2. It is because mouth doesn't have any filter mechanism like nostrils to filter dust from air while breathing. Option A. Both statement I and statement 2 are true. Option B. Both statement I and statement 2 are false. Option C. Statement I is true and statement 2 is false. Option D. Statement I is false and statement 2 is true. The correct answer is Option A. Both statement I and statement 2 are true. We inhale air when we breathe through our nostrils. Fine hair and mucus are present inside the nose to prevent dust particles from getting into the respiratory system. But when we breathe through mouth, there is no any filtration system to filter out dust particles. So it is not recommended. Question number 3. Cloud is formed by the condensation of water. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Clouds are formed as a result of water vapors arising from the Earth's surface through evaporation. These water vapors cool down as they reach higher altitudes and stop escalating once they reach saturation known as the frost point. Droplets now float in the air and form clusters with other droplets, finally combining to form huge water masses which appear to us as clouds. Question number 4. Air supports burning. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Air consists of oxygen which assists burning. Oxygen is necessary for burning of every substance. Question number 5. Air is present inside water. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Air is present inside water in dissolved state. It is because of this that aquatic species are able to breathe inside water. Question number 6. If you take ice cold water in a glass tumbler, you will observe some water droplets on its outer surface. What can we infer from this? Option A. Air occupies space. Option B. Air contains nitrogen gas. Option C. Air contains water vapor. Option D. Air contains oxygen gas. The correct answer is. Option C. Air contains water vapor. Air is a mixture of many gases. It also contains a small percentage of water vapor, gaseous state of water. When the water vapor present in the air comes in contact with a tumbler containing cold water, it condenses to form tiny droplets on the outer surface of the tumbler. Question number 7. Air is not present in underscore. Option A. Buildings. Option B. Ocean. Option C. Vacuum. Option D. Caves. The correct answer is Option C. 
vacuum, air is present everywhere except vacuum. The vacuum itself means the absence of air. Question number 8. During photosynthesis, plants take in underscore gas and release underscore gas. Option A. Carbon dioxide, oxygen. Option B. Oxygen, carbon dioxide. Option C. Oxygen, methane. Option D. Water vapor, methane. The correct answer is Option A. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, the process by which the plant leaves absorb carbon dioxide to produce glucose, sugar, and oxygen is called photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide plus water sugar plus oxygen. It can be observed here that plants take in carbon dioxide gas and release oxygen gas during photosynthesis. Question number 9. Aquatic animals use underscore in water for respiration. Option A. Dissolved salts. Option B. Dissolved oxygen. Option C. Dissolved nitrogen. Option D. Dissolved carbon dioxide. The correct answer is Option B. Dissolved oxygen. Question number 10. During respiration plants absorb underscore. Option A. Hydrogen. Option B. Oxygen. Option C. Carbon dioxide. Option D. Nitrogen. The correct answer is Option B. Oxygen. During respiration, plants absorb oxygen break down their food and release carbon dioxide oxygen plus glucose carbon dioxide plus water plus heat energy question number 11 moving air is known as option a air option b wind option c thunder option d wave the correct answer is Option B. Wind. Moving air is known as wind. Short bursts of wind moving at high speeds are known as gusts. Depending on their strength, winds can be known as a breeze, gale, storm or hurricane. Question number 12. The gas present in the atmosphere which is essential for respiration of plants is Option A. Oxygen. Option B. Carbon dioxide. Option C. Nitrogen. Option D. Methane. The correct answer is Option A. Oxygen. The gas present in the atmosphere which is essential for respiration of plants is oxygen. Plants respire continuously. The leaves of plants have tiny pores on their surface which are called stomata. The exchange of gases in the leaves during respiration takes place through stomata. Question number 13. The component of air used by green plants to make their food is Option A. Sulfur dioxide. Option B. Nitrogen. Option C. Oxygen. Option D. Carbon dioxide. The correct answer is Option B. Nitrogen. Plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis through which they produce starch, food for themselves. During photosynthesis, plants take in sunlight and carbon dioxide, produce starch and release oxygen as a byproduct. Question number 14. Air at high altitude has a higher percentage of oxygen as compared to that at low altitude. Option A true option b false the correct answer is option b false the percentage of oxygen in the air is same at sea level as it is at high altitudes which is around 21 percent however at high altitudes the pressure is lower and air is more spread out this leads to less oxygen availability for the body in each breath. Question number 15. 
oxygen in the air is produced by which of the following process? Option A. Photosynthesis. Option B. Respiration. Option C. Transpiration. Option D. Phototropism. The correct answer is Option A. Photosynthesis. Plants take up carbon dioxide and water and produce food, glucose, and oxygen during photosynthesis. Question number 16. Pooja fixed a candle at the bottom of the trough containing water. After lighting the candle, she inverted a glass jar over it. What do you think she observed? Option A. The flame continued to burn and water rose in the jar. Option B. The flame was put off and black smoke was deposited on the sides of the jar. Option C. The flame continued to burn and molten wax falls into water. Option D. The flame was put off and water rose in the jar. The correct answer is Option D. The flame was put off and water rose in the jar. The flame of the candle will burn till there is oxygen available in the jar. After some time, when all the oxygen gets exhausted, candle flame will go off. The water from the trough will rise into the jar to replace the oxygen gas consumed. Question number 17. Aquatic animals like fish have underscore for respiration. Option A. Lungs. Option B. Spiracle. Option C. Trachea. Option D. Gills. The correct answer is. Option D. Gills. Aquatic animals like fish have gills as their respiratory organ just like human beings have lungs. Question number 18. The most abundant constituent of air is. Option A. Oxygen. Option B. Nitrogen. Option C. Water vapor. Option D. Impurities. The correct answer is Option B. Nitrogen. The most abundant constituents of air is nitrogen. The constituents of air are Water vapor is also an important constituent which varies from region to region. Question number 19. A lump of cotton shrinks in water because Option A. Air present in lump of cotton is replaced by water which occupies less space. Option B. There are tiny spaces occupied by air in cotton lump. When placed in water, these spaces get closed. Option C. Water cleans the cotton lump, making it shrink in size. Option D. Water pushes the cotton lump from all directions, making it shrink in size. The correct answer is Option A. Air present in lump of cotton is replaced by water which occupies less space. A lump of cotton is porous, it has air in it. When it is dipped in water, water removes air and occupies the space. Space occupied by water is less than that occupied by air. Question number 20. How do aquatic animals respire? Option A. They come to surface of the water every time they respire. Option B. They take in dissolved carbon dioxide for respiration. Option C. They use water for respiration. Option D. They take in dissolved oxygen for respiration. The correct answer is Option D. They take in dissolved oxygen for respiration. Air is present at every place where there is life. In rivers, seas, oceans, and other water bodies, air is present. Though air is not available in the same manner as it is on the surface of the earth, but it is present in dissolved form. Yes, air is present in water bodies in dissolved form and aquatic animals use their gills for extracting oxygen in water. Some aquatic animals may even use their skin for extracting oxygen from water. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. 
link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.